Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate her. My motivator. Y'all make me greater. parts here for that green Camaro I painted a while back need some nitrous bottles and some valve covers but this video here is not about those it's about painting chrome wheels I also painted these I painted these maybe probably over a year ago but he wanted me to delete this chrome and paint it gloss black because they ain't got no chrome on the car. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to take you through the steps of doing it. And I got two of the wheels in here. Now I just got to go get the other two. Let me go get the other two. Then I'll cut you back on. Okay, the first step of paint chrome. Or paint anything. You got to make sure you scuff it up. Because if you don't, paint ain't going to stick to it. If you just paint straight over this chrome here. This slick surface. It'll peel off in the long run. And it's not going to take much to scuff it up. We're just going to use this scotch bright maroon scotch bright here. I'm going to take that piece in half. Well, and I have just a little small piece. It's not going to take much. And I'm just going to start sanding this chrome. Scuffing it up. Okay, I got this postcard. Folded it. I'm going to use this to keep me away from the surface that I don't want sanded or paint on. While I'm scuffing it up. Here's the front wheel. I haven't done anything to it. I just wanted to see if I could get you a look at it, how it's supposed to look. It's still fresh chrome here. When you sand it, it needs to look like a brush look. See how I done do it, everything off? This wheel here, good to go. So let me finish on up. I just finished up sanding all four wheels. Now it's time to start masking. I just got some regular masking tape. I'm going to start masking off the, the center of the wheel. I'm going to be tearing some strips about this long. I'm just going to do a piece at a time just to make that contour. There is my pieces. I'm just piecing it together one by one. Then I got this spreader. I'm using this to make sure it's pressed down good on the edges because if you don't that over spray it'll get up in there so you want to make sure you do that I got the center of the wheel done now I'm going to do the same thing around the outer part of the lip to mask the tire up alright that's taken care of now you can see I cut my piece of masking paper size of the center now I tape this down Okay, our next step is getting some plastic. I got some over here. Paint this plastic. I'm going to cut some the sides so I can wrap the back side and wrap it around and connect it to this tape up here. 
See how I got my plastic to tuck up under the wheel. Now I just lift it up and tape it off like I did these over here. Now I'm ready to start wiping it down with wax and grease remover. Because when I was masking, I had grease and pretty much everything on my fingers. So I left a lot of fingerprints. You don't want to start painting without wiping it down. Now I'll be using this prep oil, wax and grease remover. Wipe it on and wipe it off. After the wipe down, I'm going to put some adhesion promoter on it now. It's good to put that on plastic, chrome. Just make sure you get a good bun. Doesn't matter which brand you use, I'm going to be using this here. It's already ready to spray. I'm just going to fill it and pull it in my uh, cup here. Spray a coat on it. One coat should be fine. Okay, I got that laid down. Now it's time to spray the sealer. I'm gonna be using this Uricam color seal. It's dark gray. So we're gonna put one coat of sealer on it, then we'll be good to go. Here's the door gray sealer. I sprayed it at 28 PSI. One coat. Now it's time for the base coat. It's a jet black by Uricam. Let's get ready to spray that. Here's two coats of the jet black. I didn't have to put number two coats because of that dark gray sealer. It helped out. Now I spray three coats of clear. We're gonna be going with this Uricam high solid clear. Mix is two to one.
just stepped back out here in the shop. It's been about two hours since I sprayed it. But I'm going to wait till tomorrow to unmask it. But it's dry to the touch now. And once I unmask it, I'm going to cut you back on. Give you another look at it. I think everything turned out good. Now I get ready to unmask all the wheels. Get a look at them once I unmask them. Right from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right from the bottom.